Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph, 42.5 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel, reference 49150. This watch, with the combination of the second generation Vacheron Constantin Overseas proportions and details, and the classical chronograph complication, is quite frankly the sportiest timepiece the Vacheron Constantin makes. And on my wrist, you can see six and a third inches, 16 centimeters. Although it has a lot of presence, far more than a conventional 39 millimeter Royal Oak Jumbo or Patek Philippe Nautilus, even at 43 millimeters, the Nautilus can't quite match the stance of this one. The Overseas is probably the most underrated and underappreciated, and in my opinion, perhaps the best of the Holy Trinity's catalog of sports watches, the Patek Philippe Nautilus, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, and the Vacheron Constantin Overseas. You can see that even though it is a modern watch designed with modern proportions, it wears well on a smaller wrist. Despite the integrated bracelet and the tapered lugs that are integrated into the hoods of the case, you can nevertheless wear this one comfortably, and you can see how the bracelet actually splays out on both sides. So if your wrist were as small as 5.5 inches in circumference, that's less than 15 centimeters, you would still have no trouble wearing this watch comfortably. The mass and the quality of the bracelet and the double deployant trigger actuated clasp ensure that the watch is nicely counterweighted. So on your wrist, it doesn't have any sense that it's top heavy. It doesn't have any tendency to capsize. It doesn't have any pull off to the side, regardless of how you angle your wrist. And what's nice is that despite its substance, it is still quite thin, being 12 and a half millimeters thick. And that's for a complicated automatic robustly water resistant sports watch so the fit the finish the feel is excellent and you can see with the tumble home of that faceted bezel you can get this one under a dress cuff so if you want to use it for a wide array of outfits anything from short sleeves to a tuxedo you're good to go unless you were wearing the absolute tightest cuffs in history the overseas is one versatile and viable piece now finishing is what sets the big three sports watches apart from the likes of their junior counterparts at Rolex, Omega, and Breitling. While I respect those timepieces for their quality, they are price point pieces that are not going to feature the same amount of hand finish that you get in a Vacheron Constantin, that you get in a Patek Philippe or an Audemars Piguet. And that's in evidence in the beauty of this tapered, integrated bracelet. Just look at how it recapitulates the Maltese cross motif that is the icon of the House of Vacheron Constantin. Subtle, and yet the functionality of it is never in question. It works aesthetically and in terms of engineering. Every single individual link on this beautifully finished bracelet with its alternating brushed tops and polished flanks can be removed. Every single one of these links can be removed for the ultimate in precision sizing. There are even, you can see, two half links incorporated to allow an even better fit. And you can see, although there is contrasting finish on the flanks and on the tops, Vacheron does not negate or neglect the all-important camphor transitional shoulder from the tops of the bracelet links to the flanks of the bracelet links. No attention to detail is spared. You can even see in between the links the high polished segments, and you better believe that's all done by hand. That's what Vacheron Constantin brings to the table when it does a sports watch. Now, the case itself, as I mentioned, is the second generation overseas. The overseas debuted during the late 2000s. It was upgraded during the early 2000s to reflect changing tastes for larger, bolder sports watch style, and this watch has that. Of course, you see that Maltese cross motif once again in the cut facets of the bezel, and the bezel gives a layered technical look to the case because it's very much mounted atop the case itself. Beautifully hand finished as always, but the bezel reads as a, a separate piece. It's one part Maltese cross, one part bezel, and perhaps one part mechanical cog, almost as if it's making a promise of the mechanized automata within. It's a beautiful piece and thematically consistent with both the sports watch, the Vacheron heritage, well done. And it segues into a gorgeous chapter ring, features a 60 second scale or 60 minute scale, depending on your usage. It actually has a concave slope down to a beautiful lacquered high gloss blue dial that is singular in its beauty, its finish, and its contrast with the applied white gold indices 
white printing, and each of the sub-registers. Now, the Overseas does subdials and complications a bit differently. You can see there's an asymmetry here with chronograph seconds, obviously at center, taking pride of place, and that's a conventional treatment. But the enlargement of the 30-minute sub-register at 3 o'clock makes that piece more viable as a practical measure. It also features a separate needle-style chronograph minutes hand, so it's easier to distinguish where that index is pointing on the larger, more visible chronograph minutes subdial, each one surrounded by a special polished ray hot, quite gorgeous, with beautiful contrast against that gloss lacquer. Now, I can't overemphasize, even if the iPhone isn't picking it up, this lacquer dial is of outstanding depth and luster. Very smooth, regular, and seamless. It almost looks like I'm looking into a can of fresh, wet blue paint. It's that glossy, it's that gorgeous, and it's that finely finished around the grand date at 12 o'clock. Now, this is a unique complication that Vacheron Constantin adds to the Frédéric Piguet base movement to create the caliber 1137. So in addition to their own fine finishing that they add to the caliber, they feature that separate date. Functionality is a major highlight of the overseas compared to the Nautilus and the Royal Oak chronograph. The date is easier to read. The chronograph minutes are easier to read. And on the case back, as you can see, solid and engraved with the image of the full rigged ship, there are a couple of benefits here. Along with the screw down push pieces for the chronograph and the screw down crown, you get 150 meters of true water resistance here. Compare that to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak chronograph, which is water resistant to 50 meters, and you see the distinction. The Overseas is a high horology sports watch that's actually made to be used in sporting active lifestyles. If you want to go for a swim, if you want to even do shallow scuba diving, Vacheron Constantin explicitly approves this watch for that kind of treatment. And for good measure, because of the solid case back, Vacheron's able to implement a soft iron Faraday cage around the Piguet based caliber 1137. So not only does it have water resistant shielding, protection from the elements, it has protection from the modern environment, the home office that has high powered speakers, subwoofers, wiring looms, electronics that could otherwise upset or magnetize the metallic hairspring of a mechanical watch escapement, Vacheron Constantin secures against that. And you get this beautiful engraving, evocative of the origins of Vacheron Constantin's overseas journey to the New World in 1819, when their then sales representative, not yet partner in the company, Francois Constantin, came over to forge ties to the United States and Canada for the budding Geneva watchmaking firm. It was a growth it was a growth moment at the company, and it's one that's been celebrated ever since in the ongoing relationship between Vacheron and its American clientele. And the bottom line is that this watch, the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph, 42 millimeters, 42 and a half really, in stainless steel is a fitting tribute to that seminal moment in the company's history. Now, high horology lies within. In addition to magnetic shielding and the grand date complication, you get a classic chronograph caliber, the Begay 1185, High horology piece built in Le Sentier by Frédéric Piguet, also known as Manufacture Blanc Pain. It's also used in the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak chronograph, very thin and fine. The chronograph caliber was invented during the 80s to incorporate the column wheel and the vertical clutch. Two refinements, to this day, rarely paired. They allow for smooth actuation of the chronograph itself. Now let me screw out this pusher, and you can see how smoothly it stops without stagger. It starts without a jump, and because it is a vertical clutch, you can run the chronograph seconds hand continuously if you prefer large center seconds to the continuous small seconds subdial at 6 o'clock. The bottom line is that this watch gives you that versatility because with a vertical clutch, there's no danger of wearing out a horizontal clutch's chronograph drivetrain. So in addition to being a beautifully finished piece, that's finished in-house by Vacheron and elaborated by their own watchmakers with their own grand date, it is a versatile piece that gives you that extra measure of flexibility to run constant center seconds. And with true 150 meter water resistance, a standard of finish that's second to none, and a modern sporting demeanor, the Vacheron Constantin Overseas Chronograph is the perfect one watch, the only watch, for the uncompromising individual with a taste for sports watches but a preference for the best.